So welcome everybody for uh, the 10 YEC Youth uh, Entrepreneurship uh, Session. This is session three. So what we're going to do today is, as in every session, let's start with an invocation of the payer. You know, that's a, a collective uh, learning. And let me say this. And then after this, um, uh, we're going to do some uh, interesting and unique things for, for, uh, for today. And uh, let's begin. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunattu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejas Vinavadita Mastu Mavid Vishavahe Om Shanti 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 And does anybody want to share what is the meaning for, uh, for this invocation? Sanskriti? I don't know. No, maybe we actually learned it. So, so this is basically, this is a, an invocation to seek the blessings for our collective learning. What we are essentially saying is, the first one says, may the teacher and the student. Who is the teacher here? All of us. All of us. All of us. We are all partnering together, learning from each other. Right? And who are the students here? All of us. Yes. All of us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We're all performing the roles of teachers. We're all performing the roles the role of students. And then we are all collectively learning about entrepreneurship. Right? So that's what the first line says. You know, about, you know, let's seek blessings. And then the second line says that we are seeking blessings to give us the full faculty so that we actually pursue this learning with all our skills and with all our energy. And that's what we need. Wherever, whatever we are doing, we need to deploy all the faculties that we have. And then the third one is, we seek blessing to make sure that there is no competition or hatred between us. Who do we compete with? Ourselves. Ourselves. Because even the competition is, is the pursuit from going from something that is not, in, not a great state or an inefficient state, and we are going to a better state. That's what we are doing. That's what entrepreneurship is all about. We spot some moment of status quo inefficiency and then we try to go into a better state. Right? And then Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let there be peace everywhere. And today is a very special day. Does anybody want to say why today is so special? Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence Day for, for, for what? India. For India. I see. So why is that important to us? <laughs> I, see, I, see, I see. You know, we all have. You know, we all come from the the. You know, we have uh, our roots in. You know, from the land of India. But what is very unique about you know the land of India is, you know, in the earlier days, there is no this notion of country. There are no borders, and that land actually was known as land of birth, the land of seekers, the land of entrepreneurs. You know, in my view, who is the greatest entrepreneur? Buddha. Buddha was one of the greatest entrepreneurs. You know why? Why so? He actually, in his entire life, he saw that there was suffering. He spotted a small person from the side to inside. He saw a person who was sick. And until that time, he did not even know what a sickness was because he was raised in a such a shafford and sheltered and protected environment where there was a lot of indulgence and luxury he never knew what his suffering was but he spotted a small person who was sick and then he saw a person who was old with wrinkles on his skin and he was like what is this he went from side to inside and then he saw a person who was dead and then he was like what is this and says like you know this is dead everybody is going to be dead then he was like Wow, there's so much inefficiency for humanity. People get sick, people get old, people die. And then he wanted to go challenge that status quo. He wanted to find a solution for that. And then he actually found a solution. See, that is Buddha was one of the greatest entrepreneurs. And that is what India represents. The land that we all come from is represents the land of seekers. They were trying to really pursue what is excellence meant for all of us. So for that, since we all come from those roots, we should all be extremely 
uh, proud of it. But again, it's not because of all of us. In fact, you know, it's about all humankind, the land of no borders, the land of no divisions. So this Independence Day, let's all make a commitment that we pursue unity and excellence for all of humanity. And the only way to do that is by wearing the hat of an entrepreneur. Only entrepreneurs can actually solve this. Like not politicians and all that stuff, right? It's only the entrepreneurs. And in fact, this morning, I, uh, I chanced upon this greatest, uh, one of the worst from Upanishads. Upanishads are some of these ancient uh, scholarly texts. And it goes something like this. This is, Shrinvant Vishweg Amritasya Putraha. What it says is, Ye, the children of immortality. That means we don't have any death. That's what it says. You know, for all the humans, we are the children of infiniteness or the immortality. Ayadamani Divyani Tastu. What it means is, even we are better than the humans, we are better than even the gods. Gods, you are listen to it. We humans, we the entrepreneurs. We are actually greater than all of the, the, the gods that we know of. Veda Mahantam, Veda Mahantam, Purushan Mahatam, Aditya Varanam, Tamasa Parasta. What it means is, we actually can pursue the invite, uh, infiniteness. We can actually remove all the darkness. And then we can actually invoke the sun, the radiance like a sunlight. And that's what entrepreneurship is all about. Which is like, you know, our identity is like we are the children of immortality by our nature, our deeds. You know, today we're going to listen to Siddharth. Siddharth is, uh, is a writing freshman. He's joining uh, Stanford. And, um, you know, Siddharth actually started a company. I actually knew Siddharth from when he was a kid in the elementary school. He was actually the classmate of my, my younger daughter, Shruti, who some of you met last year. I knew him from Westlake High School. And then I, I uh, it's also fascinating to see somebody like Siddharth actually start a company. Now I actually go back him. He's just like, dude, why don't you hire me? And he's just like, you know, uncle, you're not ready. Says, oh, hi, no uncle business. Sri, you're not ready. That's what he says. Right? So let's all, um, you know, wish the, uh, the citizens of India and, and the whole humanity uh, happy Independence Day. And then let's actually get started with the, with the entrepreneurship thing. So what I wanted to do today is let's actually play the game together, the oil game. How many of you, what is the maximum score that anybody got? Sri Charan Dutta? Uh, I think last time it was uh, 18. Sorry, 18? What is the score? 18? No, there is a game. Did you did you get a chance to play with the game that was provisioned for you? The oil, there is a software game. Oh, Connect the dots. You, I see, I see. So I saw you, you were playing. Uh -huh, go ahead. So how about we all actually go through the game together and then try to connect with the essence of it. There is actually a big magic. Naveen, uh, it was so great to connect with Naveen, right? You know, which is like he lost his sight, but then he now became a, one of the greatest uh, entrepreneurs and the, and the authors. So let's play the game together and then let's see how, how we're going to score together. Yeah, this is all good. Now let me...